Hello, here is David and welcome to the first episode of F1 Games channel. On this channel you will be able to find tests, tips and tutorials for F1 games. Today I'm going to comprise three controllers. Steering wheel, Logitech Driving Force GT, keyboard made by Logitech 2 and the third one it's part from Xbox 360. This video is made especially for Trollmula 1 group, so if you are interested in F1, you can check it in the description. And there is also Trollmula group made especially for Codemasters F1 games fans, so if you are F1 player, you can check it in the description too. And now, let's go straight for the test. The first one test is the braking test. Uh, we will make it at Bahrain the first uh, left-hander before the second DRS zone. The second one is the acceleration test. Uh, we will start from poles, from first pole, and we will comprise the time at to the first corner. And the third one test is the lap time test at China because it's so hard to track for me and I think it will be the best track to comprise the three controllers. And now some information about me. I was playing for uh, two months at that controller but I bought Logitech Driving Force GT but I have never ever played at keyboard. So I will be so bad and we are playing on these all three controllers without any assists on the keyboard and on pad it will, I will just turn on the automatic gearbox because I can't play on manual but it will not change a lot and as I said we are playing without assists so it will be so hard to play on keyboard but uh, in the many leagues, uh, in F1 games, you cannot turn on any assist. So that's why we are testing that controllers like that. In the Xbox pad we have triggers which we are using to braking or throttle. Uh, so we can make brake or throttle 50, uh, 70 or 100%. Uh, that's why we can play on pad without assists. In the keyboard we've got only 0-1 buttons, so we cannot balance the throttle to 20, 50, 70%. It's only 0 or 10%. That makes playing without assists almost impossible. In steering wheel we've got pedals which are more precise than the triggers in Xbox, so we can make easier 20, 50, 70% balance or 100%. And now we have got braking tests. First we have got keyboard. As you can see I am locking the tires massively at every try. Why is it happening? Because it's so hard to brake while you are turning. Uh, you have to uh, press brake at 30-40% and on keyboard you cannot do it. If I have turned on ABS and anti-blocking system I could have done that uh, brake but without it I really can't it's impossible to not lock the tires without assist on this turn so uh, as you can see the results are not positive for keyboard and they will be really worse after the next test And now we've got braking test on pad. As you can see, it looks so so much better. Uh, I'm not locking the tires as often as I did it at keyboard. It happens, but it happens really hardly ever. I think uh, when I locked the tires, it was my mistake, not uh, the pad mistake. Uh, so I think uh, pad is really good to braking. As you can see, at braking at steering wheel. We haven't got any blocks and the braking is really really perfect.
Now we've got acceleration test for keyboards and only word that I can say it's impossible to accelerate on keyboards in F1 2016 as you can see on the video it was like that. And now we've got acceleration test for uh, Xbox pad. It's really, really good. If you practice a lot, uh, you can accelerate on pad like on the steering wheel. And the last one, acceleration test, it's steering wheel. It was really, really good. Uh, minimal better than on the pad. And the uh, only thing that I can say is it was really really good, but I made a lot of jump starts. I don't know why, so you can watch it now. And the last one test is the lap time test, uh, first on keyboard and only that I can say it was again like... And now we've got the pad lap time test, it was really good and you can really play on the pad in many many leagues if you practice a lot, uh, because I did uh, on pad uh, worse time than on the steering wheel. And the last one test in this episode is the lap time test on the steering wheel. I can say that you will make the best times on the steering wheel uh, but it's not all there is the best game feeling at the steering wheel you can feel that you are on the, in the real car you can feel the track you can feel the carbs and uh, that's why I will pick the steering wheel uh, so we are after all the tests and now I can tell you what are the pluses and the minuses of that three controllers. The only plus of the keyboard is that it's cheap and nothing more. Uh, minuses, you cannot play without assists, uh, you haven't got really any game feeling uh, and it's not exciting. And now pluses and minuses about the pad. I think uh, the really good uh, about pad is that you can make really good times at it, but the minuses is uh, are fast corners. Uh, you cannot make it good at the pad on Suzuka or on Silverstone. It's really hard to play on pad. If you don't know why, I can make a video about it. Just leave like under this video and subscribe and comment that you want that video. And uh, really uh, good about pad once again is that it's cheap. It's uh, really cheaper than the steering wheel because you can uh, pay for it $30 and for a steering wheel about $100. So it's really big difference. Uh, and uh, I think the pads will be the best for the beginners. And the last one controller and the best controller is the steering wheel. You've got really good game feeling, you can play so good, you can make really good times, you can feel all the track, all the carbs and everything. It's the really best controller for racing games and I won't change it uh, for pad but uh, the minus of the steering wheel that it's really expensive uh, the cheapest steering wheel uh, with force feedback uh, is $100 about $100 on PC but if you want to play at Xbox one or at PS4 you have to pay 200 300 dollars for the steering wheel so it's really really expensive 
and that's the end of the video if you enjoyed it just leave like if you want more videos like that just leave subscribe and comment and that's all goodbye